All right, everyone, welcome to another Dutch oven cooking video. On tonight's menu, we're cooking uh, pork chops and potatoes. Let me run through the ingredients real quick for you. We're gonna be using uh, three pork chops, two tablespoons olive oil, two tablespoons butter, two cups seasoned breadcrumbs, three fourth cup water, three medium potatoes cubed, one can cream of mushroom soup, and uh, salt and pepper to taste. So we're going to be using 24 briquettes, 16 on top, eight on the bottom. We're gonna be cooking the meal for about an hour at 350 degrees. So I'm gonna get the briquettes started here and we'll get rolling with the video. Try this again, spray a little charcoal lighting fluid on here. It's been humid the past couple of days, so I think uh, the humidity gets to these briquettes to keep them from lighting without the aid of the fluid there. Those get nice and white. We're gonna preheat the Dutch oven a little bit too before we start adding the ingredients in there. So we'll just let these go for a little bit. All right, well my uh, briquettes look like they're pretty well done here to set the Dutch oven on. So once again, I got the bottom there and I got 16 that I've got a place on top which I moved over here. I'm just going to kind of flatten out a base here. And I'm just going to let this warm up a little bit before we uh, start putting in our ingredients. I also did uh, oil up the inside of the Dutch oven which we do every time and it's pretty much recommended to oil it up, keep it oiled up. Uh, after you use it and before you use it you want to usually oil it up when uh, it's warm but uh, I figured it'll be all right for today so I'm just gonna preheat this up a little bit and then we'll start cooking all right well just getting our food prepped up here these are our pork chops we got uh, salt and pepper seasoning on there and this is the breadcrumbs we're gonna be adding. Um, Kristen, you wanna tell us what you all put in there? Yes, it's the, you melt the two butter, or two tablespoons of butter, you add the one fourth cup of water, and then two cups of the breadcrumbs, and then it said season, so I seasoned them with basil and thyme and some garlic powder, okay. and just mixed them up. All right, and then down here, we already got our potatoes cubed up, so we're still preheating the uh, Dutch oven and as soon as that's warmed up we'll get cooking. Alright Dutch oven's heated up. We're going to start adding in our ingredients. First we're going to start out with about two tablespoons of olive oil. Might have to f make that more flat there. But we're going to throw our pork chops in then next. Sizzle sizzle. Go in. Then we're going to put the breadcrumb mixture in there on top of them. And the potatoes. Then we're going to add in our cubed potatoes. The dog's trying to get the food. And we're going to add in our can of cream of mushroom soup. Then the rest of the water on top. Does it say anything about stirring it? No. So we'll kind of let that uh, cook down and then we'll check it here soon. All right, been cooking for about 30 minutes. Gonna take a look and see what's going on in there. It's starting to boil on the bottom. It's starting to boil a little bit on the bottom. Maybe we'll get a spoon and even it out a little bit. Kind of evened it out, yeah. That's a good idea. Spread that sauce over there a little bit. 
just kind of even it out. All right, we got about 20 more minutes and our briquettes are starting to wear down. So we just lit up about seven more just to finish off the cooking process. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It's not an exact science, but uh, yeah, 21 more minutes and our briquettes are pretty much almost gone. So these should do the trick. All right, well, we, like I said before, we added seven more briquettes um, on the Dutch oven and we cooked it for an extra 12 minutes. But uh, I think uh, it looks like it's good now. Kristen's coming here with a knife and a spoon to kind of check out the pork chops. But looking pretty good. Just gotta cut into those pork chops and see. Yeah. I think they're pretty good. Oh yeah, those are definitely done. Oh, the potatoes are soft too. All right. I'm just gonna stir it up. So we messed it up a little bit, but <laughs> not gonna affect the taste. Not Poor sticking. Fell apart. <laughs> not sticking too bad no. at all on the bottom. So we're gonna get eaten. Take this off here, and let you know how it tastes here. really pretty good we uh, probably didn't need to let it uh, cook for another 10 minutes the pork chops are just falling apart which I don't mind it but we probably didn't need the extra 10 minutes it's really hot right now so it's kind of burning the tongue we haven't really eaten a whole lot today so we're just kind of scarfing in didn't give it time to cool but it's not a bad recipe if you like pork chops we're gonna dive in here and Got a storm that might be showing up here in about an hour. It's about uh, 60 miles away. So uh, we'll see how that turns out. But thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Talk to you later. Enjoy.